Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here with an Etsy share today. It'll be a fairly quick one, but has some good substance. <laughs> So let's get started. First, I want to say thank you so much to the folks that did the, the thanks button below my videos this week. So thanks to Darlos Stroud, Sue Steffes, Jatsy Girl, and Eliza Mokzinski. I hope I said everything right. But thank you so much to to show your appreciation in that way is really special. So I just thank you so much. Okay, we have got a few digitals here. I've got some sales, I've got some stuff. So we'll just get started. So this gorgeous digital, you could probably tell by the style, the beautiful style of Jen Bishop, but this is Rustic Winter from Dreams Etc. I will of course have the link below and I want to flip through and show you this gorgeous kit. So, um, so it's got, it's got the, you know, front pages, it's got background pages, and it's got lots of ephemera. So it's just, look at that cable knit sweater. Isn't that cool? So yeah, I just, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, as is everything that Jen does. She is amazing, that one. So, you know, it's the pinks and teals that we like so much. I love how she used the black and white gingham as accents on that page. I think that's so pretty. Oh, let me show you this too. Gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm kind of showing you the the pages and then the, the background pages as well. So there's lots of pages to this kit. I think you could do several journals, honestly, with it. I love this. Oh, that's just my favorite. So beautiful. And that background. And then we start on the ephemera and it looks like I have it upside down, which is, which is kind of how I roll. Let me get myself on my mark here. There we go. So, um, yeah, that's good. Alrighty. So envelopes and cards and fussy cuts. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Oh, and I, um, I meant to tell you that on the, because of the envelopes and the, and the tags, I went ahead and put one of the backgrounds on the back so that, you know, on the inside of the envelope, you've got a little design and stuff. Oh, see, now those are the other way. <laughs> uh, you might say Gail doesn't know up from down, and that would be probably true. Isn't that gorgeous though? And I went ahead and put on the back there too. Journaling cards. And fussy cuts. Sweet little deer. Just gorgeous. Okay. And then she has also has the card kit that goes with this. Now Jen is going to send me, she does subscription boxes as well over at Dreams Etc. And she's sending me one, it hasn't come yet. She had some issues with <laughs> supply chain like everyone, I guess. Uh, and um, so it, it hasn't come yet, but she said when she sends that, she's gonna send a sample of one of these house cards. So I'm anxious to see that because I kind of have no clue. Um, she does, she does have a video on her, uh, YouTube channel too. I'll link that below too. So anyway, uh, but these are card bits, bits for cards. 
Of course, you could use them in your journals too, though. You know, um, doesn't specifically have to be for a card. You can use it however you want. And look at her, isn't she gorgeous? For the cover, how fun is that? And then these are some more of the backgrounds that I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough stuff to, oh, these are the backgrounds for the cards or something. Yeah, yeah, these are the backgrounds for cards. But again, you could use them as background pages too. Yeah, so that's Jen's newest kit, Rustic Winter. Isn't it so gorgeous? I just am like, uh, she amazes me. Okay, so let's do the other digitals whilst we're at it because I've got the camera that way. Okay, this cutie patootie is from Darcy's Mixed Media on Ko-Fi. I'm going to have to... I feel like I got it on Etsy, though. Anyway, I'll figure it out and put the link below. But look at these bunnies. You know, of course I had to grab this kit, so I'm excited to use the bunnies in some spring journals and then she's got the smaller ones too so that's a cute little kit it's called year of the rabbit it's what it's called and on etsy she is eclectic junk journals so thank you darcy for doing a, a bunny kit <laughs> okay then um you know how much i love Deb at Artsology. Well, she, I just went over and started and bought some kits that I didn't have because it's springtime and I want pretty things to collage with. So this one is called Floral Collage Sheet. This one. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm super excited to start <laughs> ripping into that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi, Deb. Hope you're doing well. So, yep, that's floral collage sheet. I better keep the, the little sheets with it. This one is collage tear sheet number 647. And I have a lot of her collage tear sheets, but I did not have this one. And so I went ahead and grabbed it as well. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that one. Oh, and this one. <laughs> and this one's called Pretty Damask. And I have just printed here on um, on copy paper, so which is what I usually do for my collage. But if you were to put it on your, um, like this is on my uh, matte photo paper from Red River paper company online it's 26 pound and it it makes it brighter and sharper but for collage I really like it being a little more muted so that's why I do copy paper just in case you wanted to know that <laughs> if it's TMI I'm sorry <laughs> okay so music with some floor de -lis. oh it's just beautiful isn't that so pretty yeah so there is that one. And then what? Oh, yeah. I know what else I got. I'll show you. So uh, she has Christmas washi. It's Christmas washi number 513. And so I grabbed that for next Christmas. And then I grabbed this one. This is washi tape 2 number 397. And it's just got all sorts of wonderful bits to it. So whilst I have this out, I'm going to tell you, uh, sort of announce something, but also tell you what my plan is. So Rachel at Roxy Creations on YouTube is again doing her um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And you might remember, she didn't do it last year, but she did it the year before. And I did it and I loved it because it gave me a whole lot of pre-made ephemera. 
And so I, I was trying to resist this year. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to finish stuff. I'm not, I'm not good. Yeah, I gave in. So my plan is that I'm going to do it, but I may do a lot of it off camera because you can watch Rachel's videos to see how to make the ephemera. But I will show you what I make. I will save it and show it in videos along the way. I may, if I don't have a subject for a certain video, I may go ahead and do it on camera. But for the most part, you know, I'm not going to take an hour a week and do that. Um, it's going to be a little me crafting time. And here's my plan. This is what I wanted to relate this to. Here's my plan is I'm going to try and make eight of what she, whatever she creates. I'm going to try and make eight. I'm going to make six for my pre-made ephemera box and put those in there. I'm going to make one for my idea journal and I'm going to start a new idea journal. I think it's going to be this one. And um, just for her her weekly challenge and put it put the ideas in here and then I'll keep this journal for myself. Okay, so uh, so six for the fi uh, uh, finished ephemera, one for the idea book, and I'm going to make one for Christmas. So at the end or you know by christmas time i'll have like 50 ephemera pieces that i can put in various christmas journals so that's my idea i wanted to share it with you because i thought you might like to do that too so yeah i'm not timing myself like rachel gives herself 40 minutes or something i'm not going to do that i'm going to just have fun and make eight and then um I'll have six ready for future journals and one in the idea book and one for Christmas. So that's my plan. Okay, then there's this gal, her name's Gail, and she has cinnamon tea. <laughs> anyway, my Etsy shop. I got these digitals made, guys. These are the masked, um, masked painty papers. That's what I called it, masked painty papers. And um, we did this in a recent Mixed Media Monday. And I made a digital so you guys can play with them too if you want. So that's in my shop, Cinnamon Tea. Okay. So then I have this, which we will get to in a minute. Let me tell you about the two sales that I know about. So the Rambling Crafter is having 20% off everything for the week. So um, it'll, be, it'll be in my sales for this week on, in the description box. And I'll link her shop and everything. But then it'll be gone the next week because it's, she's only having it for one week. And let's see. And then Home Book and Treasure will be having a 50% off sale for the month of January. She just added a new Wild West kit to her shop. So, um, yeah, so that's news from Crystal at Home Book and Treasure. Okay, and meanwhile, our friend Sheena at For the Love of Paper Company is having a D-stash sale that will start on December 8th and run through the end of January for 50% off holiday items. So there you go. Um, yeah, so, and, and then she sent a an Etsy share here. Look at this cool paper that she put her note on. I'm just like, oh, Sheena, I want this paper. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so anyway, let's see here. Few listings, let's see, I think this fell off the top okay let's let's look at these so first of all is an embellished coffee dyed rolodex card which is adorable look at how cute i'm gonna pull up a little bit so you can see it a little closer so that is the first thing that she sent and then collage botan botanical cards a set of two. This is, no, that's three. 
Okay, so she sent me one, but it's an example. And then, but it's sold with two tags, she says. So there's that, super cute. And then number three is collage coffee dyed tags sold as sets of two. There's the example. Hope you can see it well. Okay. And then number four, yep, is a grunge photo frame journal topper. Ooh, you know how I love my journal toppers. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love that. And she's really layered that up. It's like different heights. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but that's really cute. Okay, and then we've got Shabby Chic Photo Frame Journal Toppers. Look at that. How cute is that? Sorry, I had it up a little high. I was busy looking at it. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's so fun, Sheena. Okay, and then I, I wanted to hold up. This is, this is her shop name. So it's the numeral for the Love L-U-V of Paper Co. Company, right? Okay, and then this one is Large Collage fl Floral Patch Journal Tag set, set of Two. So, again, that comes with two. She just sent an example, which was awesome. And then seventh is, look at this, you guys. Look at that. I'm going to put it down here to flip through it. But it's a little three signature journal. Tim Holtz inspired mini journal. Uh, 72 pages that fold out for extra journaling space and six pockets. So let's just take a look, see. So it's got Tim Holtz paper and a variety of other papers. Flips out. It's about the same size as my checkbook box <laughs> journal. Oh, that is super cute. I, you know, honestly, I just love everything Tim Holtzy, you know. Got some of this cool paper in it too. Sheena, would you consider selling the paper? I haven't looked, uh, you know, I didn't look right before to see if it's on your shop, but that paper is so cool. I would buy it. I'm just saying, if you need another item for your, <laughs> yeah, another item for your shop. So look at how cool that is. Look at so there you go. That is the Tim Holtz mini journal. So that is from For the Love of Paper Company, Sheena over there. So that's all I have, guys. It's been a little slow on the Etsy share. Um, I think people are just recovering from the holiday, basically, is what's happening. So anyway, there you go. Let's see. Um, yep, and then she talked about her sale again. So yeah, that's what I have for today. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and a grateful day. And we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.